Well, in honor of the great Ernie Banks, let's go ahead and play two. Game one of Texas and Minnesota. We go to the third inning. Zane Gerwitz stepping up, Keith. Well, it's the first base hit of the ball game. The big left hander had really done an outstanding job in Dalton Sawyer. Ben Johnson's base hit to left. That loads the bases. Colin Shaw comes up with a base hit. And then a wild pitch gets that second run across in the inning. And with Minnesota struggling as they have in this series offensively, that was a lot of runs at that point. Then he come back in the fifth inning. You get a big blow and a first hit ever for Joe Baker. You know that was fun. And then Colin Shaw, what a great hustling double right here. Makes it a 3-0 ball game. Infield was in, so Texas with a pretty good feel right now, up 3-0. And then in the seventh inning, Colin Shaw continues to show how much he's improved offensively. Keep talking about that front side, able to rip that for a double and an RBI. C.J. Hinojosa almost taking the gopher pitcher's head off. Shaw would come in, and Texas gets that separation. And in the ninth, they, they go to the young right-hander. Flamethrower comes up with a big pitch, and Brooks Marlowe with a great play to end the ball game, and the Longhorns come up with a victory in game one. So Texas takes the victory in game one, looking for the doubleheader sweep, and really some good pitching early on until Brooks Marlowe got them on the board. Got a change up on a night when the wind's blowing in and chains he gets into the bullpen and it's one nothing texas three consecutive extra base hits culminated with this triple right here by trace barrera and the longhorns take a two nothing lead and you look at that point the way chad hollingsworth was pitching you thought that might be enough and brett boswell had a couple doubles on balls that he just kept his hands back and shot it to right and he's, he's been impressive so far. What he's done in the middle part of the order was really good. But, but the, the star of the night for me was Chad Hollinsworth. He really did an outstanding job changing speeds. The defense was very good behind him. He didn't strike out a lot of batters, but he pitched ahead all night. Kept them off balance, and the defense made the plays, and they scored you know, the five runs is enough for him to come up with his first victory of the year. Saw perfect defense all the way around. No errors by either team on Saturday. But Chad Hollinsworth, as Keith said, he was the story. Texas is the story. They win 5-0.